in an underwater cave in Mexico two divers peer through the blackness and what greets them is an astonishing sight one that may even help shine a light on the distant past after all littered beneath them on the cave floor are the bones of extinct animals that roamed the earth millennia ago this was in 2007 and the researchers were swimming through the Hoyo Negro the black hole in Spanish on the Yucatan Peninsula and amid the hundreds of fossils around them they didn't need to look hard to make interesting finds it was the skeleton of a young woman though that elicited particular interest in fact scientists found her remains including a well-preserved skull amid a boneyard of long extinct animals that once lived in the Americas moreover with her thick jaw and wide shallow forehead the girl appeared to be a paleo-american these people are thought to be the first to have inhabited the new world for some archaeologists though one problematic thing about some paleo-americans is that they don't look particularly like modern native americans who share some physical characteristics with asian people still the divers carefully removed the skull from its resting site the scientists set to work on trying to learn more about who the young woman was the origin of Native American people has been at the heart of a long-standing debate among the scientific community the most widely held belief is that Asian people traveled from Siberia to Alaska via a now submerged land route in the Bering Strait but for some the discovery of ancient remains that look like they could be of African origin had sown doubt however the Hoyo Negro remains which had lurked in the dark for thousands of years would eventually shine further light on the question indeed scientists estimated the bones of the young woman whom divers dubbed Naya or water nymph to be between 12,000 and 13,000 years old this was significant because it's long after the theorized migration over the Bering Strait from Siberia took place that was meant to have happened somewhere between 18,000 and 26,000 years ago in other words conventional theories say that by the time this girl was alive the Asiatic ancestors of modern Native Americans should have entirely populated America at first glance then this would seem to support the idea that the Native Americans came from different places however the researchers found yet more evidence indeed scientists now know a little bit about Naya's life or more accurately her death for instance Naya is believed to have been a girl in her teens who fell into the then dry Hoyo Negro about 12,000 years ago According to research scientists, she broke her hip and died instantly. Then, as the last ice age ended, water filled the caves, covering her body and the bodies of many animals. And the cold, still water and dark interior of the cave protected the remains from total decomposition. Interestingly, too, one of the scientists who worked on the Naya discovery believes that the cave may have provided an important source of water for the local human community. You can imagine a young woman either lost in the dark in a cave or she may have been looking for water forensic paleontologist James Chatters told NBC News either way he said no one could get her out once it happened dating the remains wasn't easy though and some scientists still contest the results this is because the science team used Naya's teeth enamel which usually rots away in order to calculate when she died However, Pennsylvania State University's Douglas Kennett, one of the scientists who dated her teeth, conceded that the results could have been muddled by carbonates in the water in the cave. Shane Doyle of Montana State University, meanwhile, told NBC News not to get too excited about the results of the study. He said, It doesn't say anything new and doesn't dispute any of our findings, but likely overreaches in its conclusions because the DNA information falls short of being complete. That's not to say the dating was definitely wrong, but it does mean that it could be wrong. There's another source of hope, though. There were small floral patterns that had formed on Naya's bones, presumably water dripping from the ceiling while the cave was still above sea level created those. We also know that the seawater rose around 10,000 years ago. As Victor Polyak of the University of New Mexico explained, the florets had to be grown between the time of her death and 10,000 years ago. Therefore, the oldest pieces of florets provided the oldest minimum age. What's more, Naya's remains contained one additional treasure trove of information. Yes, to paleontologist James Chatter's surprise, researchers were able to extract pieces of intact DNA from Naya's molars. Indeed, scientists found a part of Naya's mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA, which only occurs in the Americas. This suggests that Native Americans today and Naya belong to the same lineage 
But what about the theory that the first Americans and Native Americans are actually from different places? The physical differences between Paleo-Americans and Native Americans today are more likely due to changes that occurred in Beringia, the area around the prehistoric land bridge between Alaska and Siberia, and the Americas over the last 9,000 years, explained Deborah Bolnick of the University of Texas. So essentially, the scientists said that Naya helps add weight to the conventional migration theory. However, in the time being between the tragically short life of Naya and the modern day, the Native American people significantly changed in appearance. Consequently, this discovery could turn out to be a crucial piece in the puzzle of where indigenous Americans came from. Naya's loss could well have been science's gain, it seems.